Joins us live now from Eastside Elementary School in Dalton, Georgia, where he spoke to students earlier this morning. And Cedric, it is a nice day for a visit to North Georgia. Yes, that's right, Latrice. I'll tell you what, it's a great time out here, and uh, we have been enjoying it. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. Okay, there we go. We are having a good time here at Eastside Elementary. We've been talking about weather. Uh, these kids have been uh, really having a lot of great comments and questions about weather, and we had a chance to uh, do a little weather work workshop earlier today and do a little uh, presentation, so it was great. And uh, we've been hanging out. We just had some lunch, and uh, now we're going to talk a little bit about weather there. So, all right, let's uh, go ahead on and bring it back out here to you live now, and I have a special guest with me right now. So, sir, just tell us your name and, and, and what do you do right here at Eastside Elementary? My name is Ben Hunt. I'm the principal of Eastside Elementary, the home of the Vikings. All right, guys, make a little noise there for you. Yeah! All right. So, of course, you guys have already started off with a busy, busy school year, a lot of stuff going on. So today we had the weather workshop and the presentation. Just tell us a little bit more about why that's important and, and why do you guys like to bring in folks from the community and careers and, and to get a chance to speak with the students? Well, thank you for coming today. It, it was really special. Mm -hmm. We haven't had a lot of guests the last couple of years, mm -hmm. but uh, our students need to be exposed to different careers. They've been learning about weather and, and a lot of other things in science, mm -hmm. and we're just glad that you could come and uh, be a part of our presentation today. Oh, we're glad to be here. Now, tell us a little bit about um, just uh, what you guys have going on this school year so far. Uh, what's some of the highlights that you have and some of the highlights that may be to come uh, throughout the school year that you guys are already working on? Well, first of all, we have an awesome archery team. Mm -hmm. Last year, they, they competed in the national championship, and they placed in the top 30. They were third in the state. Mm -hmm. And, and also, like I said, the last couple of years have been a little crazy, a little rough. Uh -huh. But but this year we're re-energized, uh, we're refocused on our true purpose, uh -huh. and our teachers are making every day special. Our, our students are excited to be here, and it's, I tell you, it's just a, a great new day at Eastside. Yes, it is. Now, tell us, you talked about the teachers briefly there. Tell us a little bit about just what they mean for this school and this community, and to you as, as well with the school. Well, our students and staff are the heart of our school. Uh -huh. And our goal every day is to to make every day special for our students. They come here, they work hard, they're very innovative, they care about their kids. And with without them, without our students, without our teachers, our school couldn't exist. All right, now, before I let you go, what's your favorite part about the weather so far? Oh, this nice uh, sun right, th right here. I'll, I tell you, though, I love the fall, though. Okay. I love when it gets a little cooler, uh -huh. the, the leaves change, uh -huh. go outside and watch some football. It's nice, too. I'll tell you what, football, fall, you can't get much better than that. We'll have much more coming up from east side. You guys want to make a little noise here as we go send it back into the station. A bunch of excited students. We'll be back with more here for you coming up in just a little bit. But for now, back to you, Latrice. A nice Wednesday afternoon. Time to talk some weather for that. Let's get to meteorologist Cedric Haynes, who is live from Eastside Elementary School in Dalton, Georgia. Hi, Cedric. With those students behind you there, enjoying some of this nice weather. Yes, Latrice, they are. Are you guys enjoying this weather out here? Yeah. All right. Hey, we're having a great, great afternoon out here. Looks like we've got a new guest out here as well, a famous guest here at Eastside Elementary. So you guys see in the middle of the crowd there. But, yes, the weather is quite nice out here, a lot of blue skies, just a wonderful time here, a great group of students out here that uh, we've had a great morning here talking about weather, doing some experiments and some things like that. So it's been pretty good here. And, of course, I know you want to know about the forecast as well, but I can tell you today it's a beautiful day to be outside. And, guys, don't you agree with that? It's a beautiful day. Yeah. Yeah. I want to talk to you here from Eastside Elementary. So first off, just tell us uh, your name and uh, what grade you're in. Well, I'm C. Kim Friday, uh, and I'm, I'm in fifth grade. All right. What about you? I'm Maribel Ortiz, and I'm in fifth grade. All right. So fifth grade, a big year. Of course, you guys are kind of like the, 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 the kings, the top dogs around here in the school in the fifth grade and everything. So tell us a little bit about just uh, what's been your favorite thing about getting back to school this year and what you've experienced so far. Well, one of one thing that I've enjoyed enjoyed most is the houses that we've been doing the house program, and we've all enjoyed it, which I've seen in all the students of fifth grade. Okay, now tell us a little bit about for folks out there that are watching, they may not know about the house program. So tell us a little bit more about what that is and what do you guys do with that? The house program is a it, it's where there's five separate houses. It's Altruismo, Amistad, Isabindi, River, and Nukamuri. I'm in Nukamuri. We compete to get whoever gets most points. Whoever gets most points out of nine weeks gets a field trip free. All those students that are in that in that house, which includes fifth and fourth. Uh, and you said uh, field trip for free, right? Mm -hmm. 
free is good. I like free over there. So, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, yeah. So, tell us a little bit more about. So, what all? When you say you earn points, what? What? what how do you earn the points, or what happens there? Well, here at Eastside, we had to demonstrate the ores, which is, uh, we had to be responsible, respectful. Uh, doing our best, technically all the things that a good student would do. Okay, okay, now that's awesome. What about you now? What, tell everybody what your favorite thing has been so far. My favorite thing is making new friends and um, making new memories. Oh, that's always great. What, now, what's your favorite subject this year? Uh, social studies and science. Okay, social studies science is always good. I like science. Social studies is good. I usually say lunch and recess, but I like yours better. Yours is good. That's all right. Hey, we're going to talk to more of the students and have uh, more interviews coming up for you here a little later on. But for now, we're going to send it back in to you, Latrice. Welcome back. It is time for What's Trending. Today we have a special edition from Eastside Elementary School in Dalton, Georgia, where they have a program called Read and Feed. And meteorologist Cedric Haynes joins me once again. He's been there all morning, but he's going to tell us about this program now that takes place there. Cedric. All right. Yes, I'll tell you what, Latrice, it's been a great morning here. Guys, are you having a great time as yeah. well? Been a great time. All right, let me come on down here. Just now. oh yes, here step on down here. Now, uh, of course, we've got a great program that's happening here at Eastside Elementary, and we really wanted to kind of highlight this because we love what you guys are doing. And and just tell us a little bit about this uh, program. And I believe we actually had a chance to kind of actually visit and see this in action. So we have some video to show you of this. Just tell everybody at home a little bit about this program and and why you guys do it. Okay, so um, our Read and Feed program uh, is for all our families here at our school. We see our families as partners, and we want to make sure that they know that they are our partners and they are just as important as we are in their child's education. So um, throughout the uh, years, we've seen that, you know, our parents have been asking for a more uh, – skills and knowledge and uh, for to help them at home with reading so what we did you know a lot of our teachers came together we uh, started this read and feed program and it's exactly what as the name we read and uh, we have dinner with them uh, the parents we have different cohorts we have I think we do four three or four a year and our parents come one time a week for one month so they'll come to four meetings and we read different books we do different activities and the teachers model how to read we model how to ask questions and just teaching them different skills and things that they can do at home to help their children uh, be successful readers that's awesome now now tell us so now how did this idea come about or what what led you guys to wanting to do this one well, we have our Title One nights, and basically, we you know we ask our parents to come in and just you know we ask them what can how can uh, we help you? Mm -hmm. And a lot of parents always you know we, through our surveys we have seen that they want some more help. They want to help their children be successful readers. Mm -hmm. They know the importance of reading, and um, especially with like COVID and everything that happened mm -hmm. with all the online learning. So we saw that deficiency there. Mm -hmm. So this is um, uh, Mr. Hunt took a couple of teachers uh, to a conference. Uh, they looked at some different ideas and and then we came up with the read and feed program. Okay, so take the viewers at home through a typical night. What what how does it usually go when uh, if they show up here and how okay. this happens? So the parents will get here around I think five o'clock and then the first thing we do is we eat. We eat dinner. So they'll That's come always fun. Here. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Can never go wrong with food. No. So um they'll uh they'll come in, they'll have their table, they sit as a family, mm. you know, and then the teachers serve the parents and then we eat dinner together. Okay. okay, and then after we're done eating dinner, mm. we'll call the kids, parents, siblings, everybody mm. that's here to um a local area in the in the cafeteria and a teacher will read the story for that that day, okay. yes. And then after, during the read aloud, we model how to read with expression, how to stop and think, uh, yeah. asking questions, yeah. making predictions. So all the different little uh, things that we as teachers do already in the classroom, like we want our parents to see that mm -hmm. um, at, during the read and feed. Right. After that, you know, after we read, the teacher asks questions, uh -huh. the students answer, and then mm -hmm. the parents and their child get to go back to their seat mm -hmm. and work on a craft or activity. Wow for the book okay yes. now now that does sound like a fun night yes and then uh, the one of the best things we can we do is they get to take the book home so now oh, we're also adding to their to home the library oh yeah. wow that is awesome right there so an awesome program now is it is, does it cost anything for anyone we yes okay. it's expensive oh, but yes. we uh have 
um, done fundraisers, uh-huh. and we have had a lot of uh, members of the community just come okay. and help us out. I know this year we uh, are providing swag bags, more books, okay. just different little things. We've had uh, like Pollo Alegre, Oakwood, okay. um, that ha- that cater uh-huh. our dinners. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, that's awesome. That is awesome. There. Well, I tell you what, folks, give it up for your teacher here. I know you saw she came out here very fast uh, for this interview here. So we want to thank you. And that was some great information. Thank you for having us out over there. Uh, For now, we'll toss it back into you, Latrice, here. But again, a lot going on here, a lot of good stuff going on here, not only at the school, but in the community as well. They are doing some great things there at Eastside Elementary, uh, Cedric. So read and feed seems like a really good program. We are back after this. Stay with us what we're doing here uh so uh, are you guys enjoying this weather out here again yeah. yeah so you guys come on over we got a couple of guests that are going to join us as well and talk a little bit more about weather and what's what's causing this this nice weather here uh and so what we're going to do here is so uh guys we're going to uh actually come back to you here in just a moment here and talk more about the weather but just tell me real quick here uh what's your favorite season or favorite type of weather uh fall 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 fall, fall. oh all three falls why fall uh, it's just cold. It's just it's cold. It's like there's Halloween in there. Okay. I like Halloween. Get the candy then. That's it. I like fall because it's not too hot and it's not too cold. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, uh, I'll tell you what. Not too hot, not too cold. Just right. Now, tell everybody your name and what grade you're in. My name is Tucker Williams, and I am in fourth grade. Uh, Tony Wimpy, and I'm in fourth Aaron Aragon and I'm in fourth. All right, so fourth graders, I'll tell you, once shy of fifth grade, but you're on your way there. It's going to be a good school year. We'll talk more about uh, weather with these guys and talk more about what you can expect in your forecast here in just a little bit. Latrice? All right, I agree with them. I like fall weather there, right? Okay, nice weather. Halloween, not too hot, not too cold. Good answers there. Over to meteorologist Cedric Haynes. He is live in Dalton, Georgia today at Eastside Elementary. He presented a workshop, a weather workshop earlier this morning, and he talked to the students about all types of different things about the weather. He's also been telling us about some of the programs that they have there in Dalton, Georgia at Eastside Elementary. So we want to hear from Cedric, of course, about what our forecast is, and they are outside right now enjoying that nice weather with those enthusiastic students. Hi, Cedric. Hi there, Latrice. Yeah, we got some great students out here. You guys make a little noise out here. We got some uh, great conditions out here, lots of sunshine and nice temperatures across the area. And that trend will continue out there as we go throughout the next couple of days here. So let me show you your seven-day forecast here because we're going to be talking about lots of sunshine and comfortable temperatures over the next few days with those highs in the 70s, getting close to 80 over the next day or two. And then we've got a cold front coming in for the weekend, and that will start to bring us in a few changes out there across the area. And that will be something I think many of you will enjoy as we get towards that time frame for the weekend, heading into next week, another surge of nice fall-like air that will build on into the area. All right, so as we come back out, of course we are I'm joined right now by a couple of special folks here now just tell us a, a little bit about uh, your name and, and what you do here uh, my name is Mr. Ellis I'm the Esau teacher here at Esau I'm also the archery coach all right the archery coach so that's with the bows and arrows right that's yeah. that's that's different okay now and tell us your name and what grade you're in I'm, ba- I'm Valentina Loa and I'm in fifth grade okay now are, are you uh w- w- tell me what else you do here um I'm a I practice archery with Mr. Ellis. Uh, oh, wow. So you are on the, okay. So now tell us now, uh, you were telling me a story a little earlier. Tell us about um, your your experience with archery overall. Okay. So okay. four years ago, Mr. Hunt asked for a volunteer to coach. Uh-huh. Never picked up a bow in my life. Uh-huh. Decided, why not? Uh-huh. So I did it. And we've been competing for the last four years. Uh-huh. And then last year, we ended up going to finish third in the state of Georgia. Uh-huh. And then we went to nationals in Louisville, Kentucky. Wow. And finished 29th out of 127 elementary schools in the country. Oh, wow. And I believe we have a couple of pictures of the team there going on the screen there. But I'll tell you, that's exciting. Now, tell us a little bit about what made you get into archery and, and what, what, what all have you learned since you got into it? Um, my brother was originally in archery, and it really inspired me to try something new. Uh-huh. And um, I just decided to try it, and I got better at it. All right. Now, what was your what's, what's your favorite thing about about it, or what your favorite thing to do? What what really just makes you come back every day? Um, like the pe- different people we meet there, and different things we do, uh-huh. and the field trips and going to other places. Now, tell us that uh, we were we were talking earlier about one place you went to recently, and you actually performed. And where where was that? Um, 
Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, so was there a lot of people there? Tell us about that, and, and, and was it nervous or nerve-wracking to get, to get up there and have to try to compete with all those people? Yeah, it was. there was a bunch of people, and then they would just watch you. Mm -hmm. But you just try to feel like if no one was there and it was just you, and you could do better. Oh, wow, wow. That is awesome out there. Well, we thank you for being on the team. We thank you for stepping up and, and jumping in to action and coaching. And it's a great thing out there. And, of course, we'll be back and uh, wrap things up with the students here coming up in just a little bit. Latrice, back to you. Here at Eastside Elementary, and I'll tell you what, we're enjoying this beautiful weather outside. Guys, are you enjoying this beautiful weather outside? Yeah! There you go. We've had a uh, great morning into the early afternoon just hanging out with the students. Did a little weather presentation earlier today and really got a chance to do some weather experiments and enjoyed the day. And, of course, now we've been out here during the newscast talking about the weather and enjoying this nice weather that we do have outside. Of course, temperatures in the 60s and low 70s are going to climb into the upper 70s today. So let's show you the seven-day forecast real quick, and you'll be able to see no major issues heading our way. Lots of sunshine. We're going to be dealing with just a few clouds, but temperatures climbing near 80, so a little bit of a warming trend in the next few days and then it cools back down this weekend and the next week with highs only around 70 and uh, I'll tell you what it'll be a little on the cooler side but very fall like across the region all right let's come on back out here now and I got a couple of special folks joining me now first off just tell everybody your name and what grade you're in I'm Isabel Morales and I'm in fourth grade all right and uh, what about you I'm Madison Cross and I'm in fourth grade all right so now tell us uh, guys a little bit about we talked about weather today. We talked about uh, how, you know, things influence the weather differently. What's been your favorite part uh, so far about today? Um, the cloud in the bottle. Okay, okay, the cloud in the bottle. Now, that was that was pretty exciting, of course, being we are talking about the pressure and how that makes the change happen in the atmosphere. What about you? Um, the high pressure and low pressure. Okay, now tell us. Let's see if you remember. Do you remember uh, which one uh, Which one does what? Tell us how, if you remember that or how that works. What is high pressure? Is that something that we, we like to see or don't like to see? Do not like to see or like to like to see like to see that's right that's right that's right that's right so you know weather is all about pressure so you've got the low pressure and you got the high pressure uh these guys you guys are also out there in there as well so uh tell us a little bit about the, i i think there's a, a unique way that you guys remember high pressure and low pressure is that is that correct tell us a little bit about that come on up and tell me your name again and uh i'm tucker williams and uh, for high pressure, we learned happy weather uh -huh. for the H, and then for the L, it was loser weather. Loser weather. Okay, there you go, folks. So that's a new one for me. I may have to learn that one as well. But thank you, guys. And guys, make some noise one more time. Yeah! We'll send it back in to you, Latrice. Been a good morning, though. Looks like it's been a good morning, and looks like they had a lot of fun there, Cedric. High pressure, okay, happy. Low pressure, loser weather. We'll have to remember that. Uh, thanks to the students there at Eastside Elementary in Dalton. We want to thank you for joining us today for Local 3 News at noon. We hope that you have a great rest of your day and make sure that you get outside and enjoy some of this nice weather and take advantage of it. Good day to maybe have lunch outside or go for an afternoon walk and get those steps in. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one.